Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Mahaguru Yash Architecture Classes and right now we are preparing for our GATE 2021 exam and today I have brought the most requested videos which I have got I got emails and uh, people around me are asking that could you please solve the GATE 2020 architecture and planning paper so today I will be discussing I have divided the whole paper into five parts so this is the first part and <coughs> to be noted I will be only discussing the architecture part the aptitude part would be discussed if you want the aptitude part also be discussed please let me let me know in the comment section I will let you know about that <coughs> so the first question is in the architectural style of a North Indian North Indian temples the term Adishthan refers to so basically Adishthan refers to the base platform and you can see from the diagram this is the base platform which is known as the Adishthan Pinnacle so pinnacle is basically in case of uh, mosque the topmost part is known as pinnacle but in case of temples the topmost part is known as Kala, uh, Kalasha <coughs> you know what a vestibule is vestibule is basically your mandapa and other in uh, transept uh, comes under churches sorry Transept and vestibules are a part of churches. Pinnacle is a part of uh, mosque. So even if you do not know the answer, you could just play it. The next question is, among the following architects, which has not won the architectural prize? So we've got Arata Isozaki, IMP, Bibi Doshi and Mushi Safdi. <coughs> uh, and it says till 2019. Okay. So we know that an Ar Aratha Isozaki has won the prize for uh, won the prize in 2019, whereas IMP has received in 1983. And Bibi Doshi, we know it. She received. He was the first uh, Indian architect to be uh, to be acknowledged with uh, uh, the Pritzker Prize in 2019. Hence, the answer becomes Mushi Safdi. <clears throat> but the question says till 2019 it doesn't include 2019 that is why the answers can be a and d i know this was a trip uh, most of the people has answer, have answered mushi safdi but people who have let, legit read the question in depth could have easily f uh, figured out it says till 2020 till 2019 and which says 2019 is not included <coughs> other than that i have given you the whole list you could refer that the next question is the stone used in the construction of Kailasha temple at Ellora is so it, it is basically basalt this is, these are the basalt uh, rocks so you know that the construction of this temple started from top to bottom not being from bottom to the top and other than that sandstone is basically found on seashore so it's not possible to be uh, it so uh, sandstone is basically in your desert area and it's a metamorphic rock. That is why it is mostly found in the seashores or the uh, deserts. The next question is uh, four vertical lines having same thickness to be of the same height to perspective as shown in the figure which has the maximum height. So, uska matlab ye hai ki these are different lines and which has the maximum height. So, these are in perspective. So, we know that closer the uh, object is to you, the thicker the line would be. And the farther the, uh, the, farther the line is to you, it would be thinner. So, since 2 is the thinner, it would be... <coughs> Subse piche 2 hai. But kyuki they have in the perspective they are of the same height. That means its height has diminished. That is why the height of 2 has diminished. Which tells us that 2 is the longest one. <coughs> the next question says as per the UDPFI guidelines of 2015. We have to uh, identify the correct hierarchy of plans from higher to lower. 
<clears throat> so this is the question basically from the planning planning side and the answer would be a perspective plan regional plan development plan and a zonal plan so we know that <coughs> this is the uh, uh, diagram figure which is present in the udpfi guidelines even if you couldn't know the answer it is very easy to see perspective plan is basically for a state or a state regional plans are for a city for small small areas you have a development plan and zonal plan so you could have answered it very easily as well without even knowing them just the words are enough but you should know it another simplest question of the paper was which of the following shapes can be used as interlocking pavers without adding each other <coughs> so what we want what they want is these are a singer paver blocks and you have to see that how can the uh, match be put here now when you start laying these after laying this part you cannot lay this above this because these are two uh, concave area would be created and you have you would have empty spaces similar issues would have come in this as well as this but when you look at this <coughs> when you but, but when you look at this see this part can easily be fitted up this side but you can see in the other cases these parts can neither be put on this uh, on your left or right but neither can be put on your top or bottom but in this case this part can easily fit in this area and similarly the whole pattern could be laid off other than that the next question is <coughs> in india the constitutional in the constitution the 74th amendment 1992 delegates the power of what so basically accord as per the 17th uh, 74th amendment the local uh, governing bodies were formed so it was basically related to uh, municipalities was passed by the parliament in 1992 the act seeks to provide a common framework for the structure and mandate of urban local bodies to enable them to function as effective democratic units of self governance so it was more focused on municipalities you can see that all of them are related to one or other kind of governing body but this was specifically in uh, relation to municipal corporation <coughs> and which forms the third tier of the government so you have two hints the third tier of the government and the 1774th amendment <coughs> so the third tier you know that there are different tiers of governance so at the very uh, grassroots level it's the panchayats and the municipality and municipal corporation which works and if you go for a hidden like elimination thing development authorities and trust can never be a part of government governance even if you don't know the answer it's a sure shot answer to be done so i'm telling you two ways either if you know the answer you can answer them and also by the process of elimination how can you answer it the next question is as on 2018 the right to property in india is what it cannot be as fundamental right because we know what are the six fundamental rights of a person in india it cannot there is nothing known as a secondary right or a tertiary right so it has to be a constitutional right so let's look at the in detail so the right to property sees to be was a fundamental right with the 44th uh, constitutional amendment in 1978 it was a fundamental right till 1978 but it was made a constitutional right under 300a requires the state to follow the due and the due procedure and authority of law to deprive a person of his or her private property so after 1978 <clears throat> it was ceased to be so after uh, 1978 it was no longer a fundamental right <laughs> the next question is tendon is a primarily used so this question was again asked in 2019 in form of a multiple choice question and if you have seen my lecture videos i have done a video on pre stressed concrete i would link link that uh, video in the description box below so Uh, tendon is basically used in case of pre-stressed concrete i'll be linking the video to the pre-stressed concrete in the description box below do check it out 
so a tendon is basically a steel cable or wire which is pre uh, which is used in a pre stressed concrete elements like beams and columns it is a medium through which tensile stresses are introduced in the concrete so pre stressed concrete is basically done in two ways one is Pre, by pre-tensioning and other is by post-tensioning. The next question is, emergency preparedness for risk reduction does not include which of the following. So, I have given you the data that like what all comes under uh, emergency preparedness for risk. Uh, it comes, so you have a crisis, disaster, emergency, risk and vulnerability. And <coughs> Revision of a code can never be a part of an emergency preparedness because when there is an emergency, you would obviously rescue people, you would send relief distribution and you do rehabilitation. But at that time, you can never, you cannot, you cannot change the procedure of your re, uh, emergency. <coughs> the next is, if beam is equal to is to a column, then transom is to what? So we know that beam is a horizontal element column is a vertical element of a structure we also know that transom is a horizontal element so uh, if you have a continuous uh, windows here you will have a horizontal element known as transom and you have vertical elements known as these are mullions <coughs> so you can see these are mullions <coughs> and this would be known as transom The next question is, you have to finally Just a second So this question tells you, you have to send the, uh, tell the chronological order of the architectural movement So, I have given you in the, uh, in the given below that the what is the correct sequence of uh, what are the what is the chronological order but you should always remember them so we started with prehistoric era of <coughs> stonehenge then we had egypt uh, after that after the stonehenge merhens and pylons uh, we had the era of uh, <coughs> indus civil indus uh, so then we have the era of Indus civil, Indus Valley civilizations, your Mesopotamia and Egyptian going. After that, we had Greek. From Greek, we went to Roman. From Roman, uh, it led to your early Christian. Early Christian was uh, backed up by Byzantine. Byzantine was uh, head by Gothic Renaissance. But by the end of Renaissance, we were trying to enter the modernistic era was starting up so we had a bar baroque rococo neoclassical by the art novo it was the peak and we were we have started entering the modernistic styles though so we had industrial revolution coming in which started influencing us so after art novo led to art deco then we had full fledged modernism which was followed up by postmodernism and now we are in the era of neo modernism and parametricism so guys, this was it for today's video. For, this was the last question. So I'll be continuing this in a, it a, in a series of five parts. So I'll be back with the second part. But other than that, you all people, you, uh, you all know that I have launched my gate architecture and planning book. It is easily uh, readily available on Amazon Kindle. I'll link all the description, all the, I'll link, I'll write all the links in the description down below so you can have a look at it. So this book is pretty much different to all other books because I have thought, I have provided all the questions which I have discussed are properly presented in this book. So it has last 30 years solved question papers. Other than that, I have also provided short study material related to every section of the book. I am not only this, you will also find a small uh, picture book within the book uh, within the book itself so it the picture book basically has all 100 plus architects with their buildings so i have legit uh, covered 500 plus architects in the book <coughs> other than that you would also find a plant inventory because it's very important also you can get uh, a variety of uh, uh, important formulas and books with their authors you could also just buy the picture book in itself as well and I'll be launching the paperback version of the main book I guess within a week or two and I'll update you soon. 
so guys do have a look of it have a look of the book because you can all all any time look at the book in the issue i have kept the uh, draft version of the book or like first some part of the book is available and the preview is available on issue and also on amazon kindle so thank you for watching my video please do subscribe share and comment and let me know whatever doubts you have i'll made i can make videos and provide you with some study material as well i'll be back with the next video thank you for watching bye